Hello, hope you're all well and training hard. I'm uh, back in England now after yeah, I spent three, just over three weeks in Lanzarote, came back for a few days, then went out to Luxembourg to race, which is what this video is going to be on today. So it's the uh, Luxembourg Euro meet, which is uh, it's like one of the mainstays now in that kind of European swimming calendar. Um, some really top level people racing, You've got the superstars there, like uh, Chad's there, um, Popovich is there, Ribeiro, uh, Miguel Nascimento, a couple of Portuguese lads, um, Simon Butcher, Booker, Butcher, Booker, underfly guy anyway, from Austria, who was at Edinburgh last year, he got his Olympic qualification racing in Edinburgh last year, which is pretty cool. But like, so, so because there's so many big names, there's, oh, there's some, some prize money, um, which unfortunately I didn't win any. Damn. And uh, But then the, the crowd was, was pretty good, especially actually for Popovich. So with the, the Ro Romanian fans there, it was quite cool actually with the, with the Romanian fans that travel to meet to watch him race, which is pretty cool. We could, uh, yeah, we could, if we could get that like more, more like universal, I think. And then you have, yeah, just like pack out the stands. Um, yes, yeah, so we're going to watch watch through the races uh, today. So it's quite quite good because I went with a with a swimming England team. So it was with their youth team, but me and uh, Tom Watkin, who was also in Lanzarote, uh, went out with them. Sort of not quite really like mentors, but we were there as part of the team, and then to be to be someone for these younger kids to kind of like talk to a bit. Um, yeah, so so being part of that team meant that we had all our races filmed from the stands, which was which was good. So all of these races now you'll be able to see um, without kind of like having to deal with live stream being not necessarily great. Um, so first race is was fifty fly, and there's three videos on here because I had a heat, a swim off, and the final. Obviously, I won the swim off. And uh, obviously, <laughs> yeah, but so my heat was rubbish and that's the one in the top left. And you see, I'm just, I'm doing it, the no breath, but my head's just buried. Whereas the swim off, which is underneath and the final to the right, I am swimming it with a, breathing every stroke with a head down into the finish. And it, it just seemed to work. I seem to just carry speed better when my head's down it's buried and everything it seems to be like a bit out of sync, a bit over 80. Whereas when I had that driving forward, it was it was much better. And then actually that um, swim off time, 24 point, so the heat was 24.8, the swim off 24.42, and the final 24.49, I think. But that 24.42 is actually identical to what I went in the heats at um, trials last year, which is, um, encouraging, I suppose, for not I suppose it's definitely encouraging for for racing like that in January to have that kind of speed accessible is uh, is is nice. So uh, second day then was hundred fly, so in my main event. So the heat is there on the top, the final at the bottom. The heat I was in lane five next to Simon, and the final I was in lane two, I think, and up coming fourth. Um, but what we can sort of see with all through these clips, especially compared to if you watch my uh, Nationals videos, my starts here are so much better. Just getting off the block. So I'm, what I'm concentrating there on is, is driving out, just get my toes, whoops, as I do it here and shake the desk, getting my toes pointed and using that to drive off the block rather than like a big heave. Uh, 
so both these heat and final I was out 24.9 um, breakouts are a little bit um, I don't know if it's just anticipating or I just need to be more conscious of attacking those last couple of kicks maybe it's a combination um, so I lose a, you can see I lose a little bit of speed there but my swimming's not too bad and so I was 53-4 in the heat 53-3 in the final um, so it's uh, yeah not not too not too bad there um, and then we've got the 100 freestyle so the 100 freestyle and uh, again it starts pretty good I get battered a bit by Chad off the off the start there but my heat was, was very in control uh, I felt like I was getting over that stroke getting that uh, uh, dry armpit that we that we talk about in in fast freestyle, but for, for whatever reason the the final was all a little bit scrappy. So I was out I was out twenty four zero in the heat, back twenty uh, out twenty four two in the final, but the the final was just scrappy. Um, and then because then I was I was then behind the two lads next to me at fifty. I was then chasing it and to end up kicking too quickly breaking out too early and then um just kind of spinning being being too much focused on trying to catch it back up rather than swimming how i swim best which when i sit here now a few days later sounds obvious but in in the moment it's um yeah not just didn't didn't happen um and and talking to well, I was thinking in the swim down and then talking to Matt Turner, who's one of the co mass coaches who was out um, in Luxembourg with us. He's in his he coaches the uh, national squad at, at co mass I'm saying, why don't we? Because I'm never really in a scenario where I'm turning behind someone. So why don't we get one of his swimmers, put fins on, and we'll we'll start racing that, and then I'll be sort of have that emotional control when I do turn behind someone because I'm not naive to the fact that I'm going to be. There are some races where I'm going to be turning behind people. And then I can use that then as a uh, as, as a practice, and I know that I'm, my underwaters are still fast. I can swim through, and I'll come through and and win at the end, which is what I need to be at, at trials. I need to have that emotional control to then to then perform my best race. But yes, yeah, so that was all the races from there. Um, pretty pretty interesting. I've not done my full race analysis yet on these but i will do and so maybe in the next video we'll talk a little bit about that and the differences the actual recorded differences compared to just what we can sort of see from from looking but yeah hope you enjoyed that and i'll see you later cheers